Hey, I'm Lori with Here We Go Again. Uh, today I am flying solo. Rick is at work, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to come out to my parents' house and visit them and to show you around the camper that I actually grew up vacationing with. Uh, if you have never seen us before and this is your first video, then this is a little bit different than what we usually do. We usually go around campgrounds and uh, let people know what to expect from each campground that we go to and what our likes and dislikes are but I thought I'd get a little bit nostalgic and just go back and show you the starter camper that started the whole camping experience with me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us yet please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up and we'll get started here. So here I am in front of the very first camper that I ever got started camping with. This is a 1974, 1974 Nomad. Uh, of course, they, my family bought this a few years before I was born, but I did get my earliest start at three months old on a camping trip with this camper here. And uh, now that I have shown you all of this, I thought I would show you around inside. So let's get my face off of here and go see the inside of this older model camper. Here it is in all its glory. It's showing its age a little bit, which, you know, 44 years old, that's pretty old for a camper. My parents still have it for all the memories that we have made over the years. Like I said, this is a Nomad. We've had to replace the front awning because of wear and tear over the years, of course. Um, my parents haven't been able to go camping for the past few years, so it's kind of just been sitting here, and uh, it's hard to get rid of something with so many memories in it. It's hard for my parents and just uh, our family. It's still the original green. If everybody knows the 70s, this is the green of the kitchens and of campers, obviously. Okay, let's go inside. Let's take a peek. If anyone has had a camper like this before in their past, you will see all the magnificent yellows down to the floor and on up. It actually looks really good. Uh, this is a 19 footer. Uh, just imagine a 19 foot camper and then imagine six individuals being in it. Here's the closet. Closet space. But believe it or not, six of us, my parents and my three sisters and I, used to stay in this for a week to two weeks at times. And not just when we were little kids, but also when we were teenagers and in our 20s. So when you look around, please note, there is not a whole lot of room in here. Right here is where we ate. Also, this was one of our beds. Of course, you know, campers, the table makes into a bed. Uh, two of us would sleep here. Me, or usually two of my sisters would sleep here. Then over here, this couch made up into a bed. Of course, that's where my parents would sleep because it was the full-size bed. And then right above them is actually a bunk bed. They do not have it working as a bunk bed right now. And right above their bed is the bunk beds. And you can actually use them as storage if you didn't have such a big family like we have. But in the case of us, it was the bunk beds and there's latches up here that you could release and slide it down and of course you know you can look inside we have a little mattress in here and windows there was my window during storms and things and of course two of us had to sleep up here together so it was usually me on the side of 
the wall and my sister on the outside so that I couldn't fall out when I was smaller. When I had my first three months, uh, when I went on vacation, my when I was three months old, I should say, I actually slept on the table bed with my oldest sister and she uh, made sure I didn't fall out. So here is the camper I grew up in. As we grew up and got bigger, of course, because you know kids don't stay small forever, um, we actually had a few of us that had to sleep on this lovely floor. Yes, lovely floor. Story there is I actually <laughs> slept with a granddaddy long leg, which was disgusting. I don't know if I can get the refrigerator open or not. Oh, I guess I can't. Here's the refrigerator. And right in here is the bathroom we all had to share. Very small. Actually, campers have not gotten a lot bigger in bathrooms, believe it or not. They are still teeny tiny. And the shower. We always used our shower for storage because it was just too small of a shower for us to actually use for adult people. I think me or my sister one actually took a shower in it when we were smaller, which I don't recall it, but I was told that. Um, I think that's about it for the tour of my camper that I grew up in. Just give one more look. My mom actually, uh, sewed these uh, curtains because the original curtains that match the upholstery that you see there um, actually dry rotted and just worn down because like I said it's it's an older camper. Um, I hope you all liked my memory lane. Uh, I'm hoping to maybe get some pictures on here of when it was in its glory days when we were actually camping in it just to show um, what it looked like back then and the pictures of me and my sisters and my parents when we were in it and just enjoying life and enjoying growing up in a camping area. Uh, have a lot of great memories. A lot of great memories growing up in this thing. So I guess I will talk, you, talk to you later. See you later. Maybe Rick, my sidekick, will be on the next video with me. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.